Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I have my May candle and wax melt empties. And um, yeah, I'm not feeling that great. Had a tension headache for the past few days that um, just made me want to go in and sleep all the time. And then I got some major tooth pain right now. And uh, I think, it, I, I was thinking it was just like gum sensitivity, which I've had in the past and I use Sensodyne. And, but this is like, this pain like wakes me up. This, uh, I've been taking um, Tylenol 1s, Advil. Right now this whole side of my face is numb because I just put like a half a tube of Orgel in there so I can get through this video. So if you see me wincing or grimacing, uh, it's probably this. So um, I, I'm trying to uh, kind of self-diagnose. <laughs> and uh, med medicate myself, but uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to go to the dentist. Um, I think it's a little more than tooth and gum sensitivity at this point, um, but yeah, so if I'm slurring a little bit because this is quite numb <laughs> for now anyway, once it wears off. Anyway, so a lot of these candles that I did get through, uh, when I was switching over my winter candles, kind of tucking them in for the season and bringing out my spring and summer ones, um, a lot of these were half empty or three quarters empty. So, um, so I didn't really think I'd get through very much at all because uh, my dad passed away in May and I was out of town for a week. Um, and then I had to go to Toronto for a couple of days, da 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 da. And um, so yeah, I mean, I did get through quite a few candles, but like I said, they were kind of um, half empty at least anyhow, so. All right, I'll get started with the Bath and Body Works Rainforest Gardenia. And I do love this one, I get it every year. It's just a really, really lovely, watery, bright floral. And mine always has a strong throw. The burn on this particular one was really good. Uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful um, floral scent. And yeah, I really, really like that one. I did pick up another one this year. And um, this one, this is an oldie but goodie. Probably never see it again, unfortunately. This is the Colonial Candle 8 ounce. And this is London Abbey Road. And this is the Two Wick Paraffin Wax. Got this a few years ago in Home Sense Winners. Um, but yeah, these, you can't, can't find these anymore in the discount stores, uh, these, old, these oval ones. They burn really, really good. These uh, the eight ounce ones, I had absolutely no problem with the burn. That's how much wax was left before I finally burned it out. So there's like hardly any left in there. This Abbey Road was just, it's a perfumey, clony scent, um, but there's a very fresh air vibe about it. It was just so nice. I think I had two or three of these, maybe just two of them. So I was sad to see this go, but um, I'm not gonna enjoy it if it's sitting in the cupboard collecting dust. So I thought oh, I'll use it up, but it was just beautiful. I wish Colonial would come back, um, start to uh, bring these back in the uh, discount stores, these two wick eight ounce ones. The larger oval ones, I think they're 24 ounces, they don't burn quite as well. They tend to tunnel a little bit more. The edges don't quite pull out. Um, but these eight ounces always burn just like a dream. And then I'll, I'll just, I think I had another colonial. Oh yeah, this one. This came out oh, maybe a year or two after those ones. This is the Colonial Candle Palm Beach. And this was a paraffin wax again two wicks just absolutely no problems with the burn okay there's some soot uh, that could be me because I didn't um, trim the wicks enough but there was absolutely no problem with the wicks no puny wicks uh, I do like the uh, paraffin wax from the colonial candles uh, this one threw really well it was kind of a coconut pineapple blend but very soft not overly sharp or bright, it's just a very soft coconut pineapple. But yeah, I got about f maybe five of these when they came out a few years ago in the discount stores. Uh, I've always ha I've had luck with all of them. There was maybe one that was a bit on the light side, 
but this one filled up my family room and kind of went down the hall, came close to the kitchen. Uh, Colonial Candle, I know you probably, there's like a snowball's chance and H-E double hockey sticks that you're listening, but would you please bring these round paraffin wax two wicks back, please? Please, they are so, so great. Um, yeah, I think I only have maybe one or two left of these, but oh man, they were good. It's what a candle should be. And then this is Lemon Verbe Verbena, oh, can't talk, uh, by Project Art by Ness Fragrances. And this was just a, a really light, bright, lemon scent. Uh, this one I think started having some puny wicks down around here and I think I ended up throwing in the candle crock when it was about three quarters done. Uh, probably about a medium throw. The labels on these are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I really like those ones. Oh. Ah, sorry. Oh, just feels like a knife going in there sometimes. Ah, okay. Uh, Brookside Candle. This was in the discount stores. Uh, this one did not do well. It was, I think it was the one that had the three different tiers of colors. Um, it didn't throw. I put in the candle crock. It didn't throw. Lovely label, but yeah, I didn't have any luck with that one. And this is World Journeys by Yankee Candle Sahara Sun. It was a beautiful um, yellow uh, wax two wick paraffin. Most of the uh, world journeys have at least a medium to stronger throw, but this one was light. I tried it in um, like smaller room like my office and that, and I struggled to, to smell this one. Put it in the candle crock and I still struggled. So um, yeah, I didn't have too much luck with that one. It was like a very, very soft sandalwood, very soft, soothing kind of scent, but just a little too late for me. Yankee Candles Relaxing Lavender, which is the dupe of the Lemon Lavender, and it's in the Three Wick Paraffin Wax Tumbler. So if you like the Lemon Lavender, um, this dupe is just exactly like it, and uh, I just love that Lemon Lavender combination. This is a fairly strong uh, throw, maybe a seven or eight, uh, depending on the size of the room. There's a lot of residue, but I mean, I didn't have to foil it or anything like that. It just took, these ones just take a while to, to fully pull out. And then I got this three wick uh, DW candle and cooling eucalyptus. And uh, this was a smooth wax one. This smelled, it smelled uh, like mint eucalyptus but different from the Bath and Body Works. Um, that one is just sinus draining. It's extremely strong. This one was more of a soothing mint eucalyptus, a very soft toned down one. Um, just, just, it was much much softer than the Bath and Body Works one but it was it was fairly strong though. You could still smell it but it just wasn't overpowering like the Bath and Body Works one. Yeah, it's just nice and soft, and um, it was a very good burn, actually. And then Yankee Candles Blueberry Scone. And uh, yeah, this one was an excellent candle. This one was poured in 2016, and it was actually the European version of it. And yeah, it smelled like blueberry muffins coming out of the oven. It was just wonderful. You get more of the blueberry than the bakery. Had a Fairly strong throw, at least good 8 out of 10. Good burn, just a very, very good candle all around. And this is a Coastal Oak and Sea Salt by Bath and Body Works. And um, burn this kind of at the beginning of the month. I don't think it was overly strong, maybe just like a medium throw. Um, just a little bit of a woodsy sea salt kind of um, smell to it. Maybe a hint of bergamot or sandalwood. It was just very soft. Wish it was a little bit stronger, but wasn't too bad. And this is Yankee Candles, Casablanca Lily, and Iris. And I was lucky to find a couple of these medium jars at the SAS sale. This was two, just the, the Woodwick 
um, a little bit of soot there. These do tend to soot a little bit that um, I should have trimmed the wood wick a little bit more. But this is just a, such a totally unique and original kind of scent. It's a floral, but it, there's a spice in there. And I just absolutely love this one. And I hope to find some more if I go back to the SAS. I did get two more and then I got a small little jar, but this one has a really strong throw and oh, I just love that one. And, oh, that board gel's worn off. Oh, it doesn't stay long. I really need to see a dentist. Ugh. Anyway, um, this is Goose Creek Strawberry Jam. And oh my gosh, this is so good. It is so strong. It's so authentic. It reminds me of when we were kids and mom was, uh, we had gone strawberry picking and she was um, cooking the strawberries on the stove to make jam. It smells exactly like that. It is so, so authentic. Oh, I just, they, they just hit it out of the ballpark with this one. Excellent, excellent one. Sensationals Fern and Lemon Peel. This is their aromatherapy line. This was a little bit on the lighter side. It did better in a smaller room, but there definitely is that lemon. Uh, they say fern, but I don't know. I don't know. Not sure what they mean by fern, if it was like a, uh, uh, a greenery scent, but I just get a nice, bright lemon scent. Um, there's a little something else in there. And then Sensationals Rainy Day. This is a very, very strong Sensationals. Um, it doesn't smell like a rainy day. Like I said before, a rainy day to me smells like dirt and greenery and dewworms. Um, but uh, this is a good substitute for that. But oh, it's bright and it's strong. Um, yeah, I get this one a lot. It's, it is lovely. It's just so fresh and ozone-y and it's it's nice. I like it. This is herbal. Uh, sorry, Swan Creek, black plum and prosecco. I believe prosecco is a type of white Italian white wine. I really like this one. These are very long lasting. Um, I really didn't get through a lot of, of wax melts because all these, well, except for maybe the the lemon peel one, uh, were quite long lasting. So I didn't really get through a lot. Um, but this is definitely plummy. You get, um, it's like a plum wine, basically. And yeah, and they're long lasting, a fairly good, good throw on that. And then this is Sensational's Blackberry Lemonade. And this one, I didn't get the lemonade. I got a very, it was almost like a fermented blackberry scent. Yeah, I didn't, I did not get lemonade. I just, a very, earthy almost like a fermented blackberry wine instead of the lemonade and yeah that was fairly strong and long lasting too and then i uh, did get a yankee meadow showers in the, the melt and yeah you can depend on these to give you a good throw and last quite long it's a soapy greenery scent and then i put a couple of votives in and i don't think i've even burn them yet but this is green grass by Yankee and it does it smells somewhat like fresh cut grass but there's a lot of sweetness in there um, the one when they came out with those man candles Yankee did um, with the guy sitting on the lawnmower uh, that one really smelled like fresh cut grass this is just um, it's a greenery scent with uh, some sweetness in it so Anyway, but uh, yeah, I did burn these in tarts a while, like a year ago, and I just can't remember the throw or anything like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's it. So I got, um, I thought I'd get through more melts, but like I said, those were quite long lasting. And um, yeah, so anyway, oh, I'm in pain. Um, Oh, well, okay. I know. I have to go see the dentist. Oh, we have no benefits, so I don't want to spend a fortune and just find out that, oh, you just you need to use Sensodyne. Um, anyway, I hope it's nothing too serious because I won't be able to go shopping because uh, those dentists are rather expensive. But anyway, um, I'll, I won't be able to put up with this much longer, so I'll, I'll probably give in and go see the dentist anyhow. So 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss. Um, yeah, enjoy the summer, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.